now that this individual has secured their spot, they're going to sacrifice this karmic, and then they're going to offer you, like, a friend with benefits offer, like, the, the Knight of Cups, Page of Cups with the Seven of Swords, like, to be, like, some type of living, a living booty call, like, I, I don't know, like, they want you to Pluto return on, on Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, and Taurus, that is gonna be rough, y'all, the, the, hold on, hold on, hold on, stop, stop, stop the press, this is somebody's divine counterpart. And Hello, Aquarius. How are you? Welcome back. Stars desired here. If you're new, make sure to subscribe and join the Soul Tribe. We have a read for you guys, okay? This is a love read. It is a gentle read. Take what resonates. Leave what does behind. Cross watchers, you are welcome. This message is also timeless. Personal reads are in the link, link in the description box below. I want to thank everyone for all the support. And with all that out of the way, we're going to get started. Thank you so much, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, universe, galactic beings, ancient ancestors, elders, guides, and read for my Aquarians. What messages do you have for us? Truly grateful for your divine guidance and celestial light. So Aquarius, I heard the name Marianne. Here we have Jupiter retrograde, Sagittarius wheel of fortune, in reverse, tempers of reverse. Uh, number 10 on the side, Wheel of Fortune on the side, Jupiter getting ready to station direct, Sagittarius energy again, Scorpio, Death and Judgment, Pluto in transit, we have at the bottom here, Spirit, Ten of Cups, and if I part the deck in half, Three of Cups, Eight of Wands, Ace of Cups. Definitely seems like somebody here is celebrating with someone. Is this Aquarius, please? Strength. Page of Swords and Ace of Wands. Well, I know nobody is celebrating with a page. Ain't no way anybody gonna be celebrating being with a page of swords. You know, no 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 offense, but I don't I don't think that's a celebration. Cause what is a page gonna offer you? I'm I'm just being honest, you know, like what is a page gonna offer anybody? The star the five of pentacles. Six of Cups. What what on God, green earth is this? Emperor at the bottom, what is this? Oh no, I gotta clarify this. This is a mess. The star, six of cups, five, five of pentacles. Ten of cups, th this is throwing me off guard in the center. Can I, can I get clarity? It, it, like what I'm really getting here, emperor, king of pentacles, seven of pentacles, Judgment, the world, and the three of swords. Clarify this energy, spirit. Clarify, clarify this, this right here in the center. All of this. Oh, they want to clarify this instead. The star on the side, y'all. The, the, hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop, stop the press. This is somebody's divine counterpart, and they. They're they're moving in with a third party karmic, yeah, three of cups and nine of cups. Oh my goodness, these reads for the fixed signs. These are terrible. That that that's why Scorpio's there. That Pluto return, because this Pluto return on on Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, and Taurus, that is gonna be rough. It's some lessons that you know I'm a Leo, so we we gonna learn these lessons together, love, but. This is, this ain't giving, clarify, magician, so, so what is this over here, what, what is that, five of cups again, y'all don't pray, if, if you know who your counterpart is, and, and if you've been praying for them to heal and whatnot, don't pray for this person, okay, so you have to stop praying, because your prayers are allowing 
opportunities and abundance to come to this individual and their third party karmic. You have to stop praying for this person, okay? I know that may be hard to hear. I know that may be a bit harsh, but you really have to because your prayers are keeping this individual from receiving some type of karma. You also have to make sure that you're doing return to sender because the magician is there and somebody is playing in your energy. I don't know if it's this emperor, okay, or if you're the emperor and it's an empress that's playing in your energy, or if it's the third party karmic. Somebody here, Aquarius, that you had high hopes for at one point, they are with a third party karmic and these two, Don, moved in together. They could have bought a house together or something, I'm hearing, or they could have got a townhome together. Something about a living situation changed, and they're like temporarily celebrating, but they're about to be in the Five of Cups. They're about to be defeated and destroyed, the both of them. I'm really getting, though, th this is a continuation of the previous read where somebody's counterpart is about to have the third party karmic going outside. Like, I really feel like somebody's counterpart is about to offer the karmic as a sacrifice. Like, uh, like that's what I'm really getting. Like, this karmic is, you know, he he hi eyeing, celebrating with you know your counterpart thinking that this is like a victory and whatnot or this is what that this is the energy that they're going to be on but in actuality this twin flame or soulmate of yours that you had a divine contract with they're about to sacrifice this karmic and keep the house the, the living situation for themselves but they were able to manifest or attain this living situation by pulling onto your energy and pulling on the energy of other people why is this a message for Aquarius? Like, why, why, why are you Ten of Swords in reverse? This page of Pentacles keeps wanting to come out. Aquarius, somebody feels like they never betrayed you. Somebody feels like they never did anything wrong to you, okay? They feel like you are the problem. They, they feel like you're the one that's being difficult. And so they're doing all types of spell work and black magic and voodoo on you, trying to keep you, like... Yeah, Seven of Wands, trying to restrict you from having a brand new beginning over the Ace of Wands. A brand new beginning, brand new adventure. So this is, yep, Two of Swords, trying to create blockages. Trying to block you from having a brand new beginning in love. So whoever you are, love, if you're watching this, your love life has been bland, okay? It has been bland, it has been dry. Nothing's been going on, okay? You could, you could very much be in your hermit energy, right? You know, staying at home a lot, uh you know, a recluse, watching a lot of TV, YouTube, self-pleasuring yourself, right? Because you don't have a, a partner, right? But like, that's the energy you could have, you could have been on. And somebody wants to keep you there, okay? I really feel like it's this emperor, okay? This emperor wants to keep you there. They want to keep you where they can see you. And they don't want you doing anything reckless or foolish. So you're going to have to do a massive cord cutting and return to sender, because this is nasty energy. Knight of Cups. Seven of Pentacles. I know somebody isn't going to make an offer here of like. Long term friend with benefits. Like my knees are going to buck in. You see while I'm sitting on the chair. This person is going to make the offer to you to be. A long-term firm of benefits with them and that you can stay at their new place in a spare room or something i'm really getting that like that you're like a live-in partner or something but all this individual will ever offer you is the knight of cups aquarius this is somebody's counterpart he she they them this is a man or a woman you have three of swords so this individual they, they done came into some money. They came into some money here. Oh, page of pentacles. Oh, they, they, they're going to sacrifice this third party and then take all the money. That's what it's giving. This is somebody's like twin flame or, or fallen twin flame. So five of swords. Look, five of swords over the five of cups. This is a mess. This is a mess. So they got a place with the karmic. But now they don't want the karmic, so they're going to sacrifice the karmic and take all the money and take ownership of this place. So they use the karmic, and they use your energy and the energy of others. You know, if you were praying for this individual, right, you were sending healing energy their way. You know, I'm sorry to say, Aquarius, but that actually helped this individual get this house, get this townhome with this karmic. However, 
now that this individual has secured their spot, they're going to sacrifice this karmic, and then they're going to offer you like a friend with benefits offer, like the, the Knight of Cups, Page of Cups with the Seven of Swords, like to be like some type of living a living booty call like I, I don't know like they want you to they want you to live with them but they don't want to commit to you yeah eight of pentacles they just want to be they want to be doing that thing all day you see that clock the the clock's just ticking they want to be doing that thing with you aquarius all night long I, I don't know like that that that's all they want that love making yeah the lovers they want that love making with you I want to rock with you all night. Michael Jackson. Like that, that, look. Oh, the lovers twice. Aquarius. The Queen of Pentacles. They want you to stay at home while they're in the next room with a different person. Y'all, this has to be, this is sick. This has to be, I know y'all not going to allow this disrespect. I, I mean, it's different if you're in an open relationship or if you are part of, like, uh, uh, you know, hedonistic society or group or, like, you're polyamorous. Like, that's different. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about somebody here that wants monogamy with their divine counterpart. Your divine counterpart does not want that love. Somebody needs to hear this. And they may, they're going to present this offer. It, it's really going to feel like the star with the Knight of Cups and the star there. And then the Ten of Pentacles, like, they're going to want you to move into this place, right? Mind you. They, the karmic was living there with them, but the karmic got kicked to the curb. The karmic got sacrificed. So you're going to be going to this place, right? If you accept this individual's offer, you're going to be going to this place where this masculine or feminine of yours was engaging with this karmic. You know, they, you know, they bought this place with the intention of settling and having this brand new life, this brand new victory, right? And then your your counterpart sacrificed the karma, right? So you're gonna go over to this place. This is the visual making the offer, implying, right, like, you know, very heavy love bombing and apologies here, right? Page of Cups. But behind it is the Seven of Swords deception. It's not true. This individual is gonna tell you what you want to hear, and it's gonna feel like such a good offer. But this is just an energy harvesting ritual. That's all this is, okay? If you take this offer and you go to your counterpart's place, right, and decide to spend all this time there with them, you see, this is why they want to just be having nookie nookie with you the whole day. The whole day there, they're going to want to have nookie nookie with you. That's basically all they're going to want to do. And this is an energy harvesting ritual, okay? I'm going to call it how it is. This is all to harvest your energy, your chi, your prana, so that they can continue to pay their bills, so that they can continue to have this place okay they secured this spot the karmic secured the spot i'm hearing but this individual sacrificed the karmic so now this individual has to keep this place going for themselves because they're not trying to end up homeless okay so they got their place y'all they got their place y'all pink diamond and karmic cycle and coldness fragmented is going to be at the bottom so that karmic situation that came to an end with coldness here y'all this is a cold this your counterpart is cold as f you need to like the blizzard that's going on right about now okay in the midwest and in the northeast and you know out in the northwest okay that's how cold your person is aquarius your counterpart there is nothing there for you they know what they will need to say to to get you to listen to accept their offer they know that if they give you an apology and sweet words they feel like they'll be able to have you come crawling back to them but this is a trap this is a trap okay because if you decide you see the karmic was sacrificed and went out sad but aquarius don't y'all go out sad now don't y'all allow your divine masculine or divine feminine to sacrifice y'all because this individual done sacrificed the karmic for real, for real, the karmic is gone. And if they aren't gone, they're about to be gone. Like, literally, sacrifice. Like, this individual could be getting this karmic locked up or put in a psych ward. Like, there is some type of ongoing investigation going on with that that you don't even want to touch that with a 12-foot pole. But this energy right here, this this 
pink diamond, like they're really offering you something that seems real. It feels tangible, right? It feels like you can see, taste, touch, feel. It's everything that you have always wanted, right? You could have always wanted you and your counterpart together, but this is all a farce. This is just to get you in. Like once you are in this individual's place, that's when they're going to perform the ritual on you. Like not even 30 minutes past, they're going to lead you to the room to do the deed. Okay, they are going to lead you to, to do the D right away. Sad news. I'm telling y'all, y'all, y'all going to be in playfulness. Cause they nothing has changed with round and round there. Not applying lessons learned. This is the Pluto return, y'all. Have you learned the lesson with this individual? Because if not, you're about to. Okay, I have to be honest. I have to say it how it is. Okay. This is the Pluto return here. And sometimes with these Pluto returns, counterparts can come back. But they are never there to, to, to actually build something long-lasting and beautiful with us. It, you know, if they're coming back, it's to teach us a lesson, and that's it. Or it's to see, have we learned the lesson? Because if we haven't learned the lesson, we're going to learn it. And so you see, Aquarius, y'all about to be tested. You are. Have you learned the lesson? Because this individual, they're just going to take you around and around for the joy ride. If you decide to go over there, okay, y'all, y'all were warned. You know, don't don't say nobody warned you. Star seeds high at the the unseen. You know, don't don't be blind to what you feel towards this person. Don't be blind now. The unseen, okay, because fragmented. This is a risk. The, the, a split in your energy. Look, it literally says right there. Having too many options. This individual will be bringing other people over. This individual will even may even ask you to partake in certain acts with them and their other lovers that they're going to be bringing over. There, there's two lover cards here. So that is implying there could even be some type of 4-S-O-M-E. You know, like, are you down to do that with this individual? Like, this is, this. if you decide to go there, dice, if you decide to take this risk, and open that door, okay? Spirit cannot help you. Alien, you're going to be isolated, okay? In that situation, spirit cannot help you. Spirit cannot interfere. Your ancestors will not be able to interfere. Your angels, they will not interfere, okay? Because you knew, you know now. And even before this, you knew the signs, okay? You knew that this individual was attempting to stop you from your path and purpose and causing all types of delays by doing this spell work. Owl. Wishcraft and magic, it says right there, okay, to keep you from doing your purpose. You know the truth about this individual. You know what time it is with this man, with this woman. You know what time it is with this person. You know they're not, they have not done any type of work. That they're now just a karmic that's there to teach you a lesson, okay? And any type of love here has to be flexible on their end, okay? Fluidity. Being flexible and adaptable. You must be flexible if you wish to have some type of connection with this individual. The love offer that they offer you is only going to lead you in sadness and in a hot mess type of energy. And it's going to have you calling and praying for your guides, ancestors, to tell you what's the real deal with this contract that you share with this twin flame, this soulmate. But they're going to tell you what I'm telling you here, that, you know... 2 plus 2 does not equal 3. It equals 4, okay? Woman, your intuition. You already knew what time it is with this individual when you were burnt out. Okay, you've been burnt out with this energy. You're done with this energy. So don't let them confuse you, okay? Don't let them confuse you because that's what they're coming to do. They're coming to confuse you and tell you that you guys are meant to have this happily ever after and have the wheel, okay? The wheel of fortune, destiny, fate, right? But only to show you the devil, and surviving they need your energy they need your energy to pay that the, the rent the mortgage for that place the karmic is gone the karmic is gone y'all the, the karmic is about to be sacrificed by this individual so they need some type of energy source to sustain this new massive purchase and leadership is here you're you're the one that they're going to call up you're the one that they're going to call up because they know you got that sweet divine energy, that she energy, that prana. But look at the hand, Fatima. Look, even, even Jesus, the crown of Christ, Jesus is telling you, love, don't do it. Okay, Jesus is telling you, love, don't do it. Okay, that's the crown of Christ right there. Those forms, 
Jesus Christ, he's saying, love, don't do it. You, you know, you know this man, this woman is bad. You know they're just going to sacrifice you, okay? Look, the, cro the, the cross, the, 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 <laughs> the crown of thorns that they placed on his head before they sacrificed him on the cross. Jesus is trying to warn y'all. Jesus is trying to warn somebody here. If you go to that place, if you decide to go into that apartment, right, to that townhome, that, that new place that they got, you will be sacrificed. Okay, you will be sacrificed, love. There is no re reconciliation. This contract is over. It's long over. Okay, the world. Jesus is telling you. Okay, the Most High. He's telling you, right? The world. The end of the cycle. It's over. Because that individual is toxic. And it's best to just keep flying forward. But it's almost like this has to happen because Spirit is about to test you. To see if you're really ready for your true counterpart. Or if you're still hoping for a fallen twin flame or a fallen soulmate to get their life together because once they fell from grace there was no coming back from that not for this divine counterpart there's no coming back what they done here they I, I don't even want to talk about how they were able to you know the schematics of how they were able to attain the house the, the condo the townhome whatever they attained with this karmic i don't even want to talk about that because i'm almost positive that it was not fully legal so who wants to even be with somebody like that that that's going to get themselves caught up later down in life? Because the IRS will eventually catch them. Oh, yes, the IRS will watch for years. They will watch for 10 years, 20 years. But when they when they tell you you got to show up to court, that you didn't pay this, this, and this, or that the money was funny, you know, it's over. It is over. So don't do it, Aquarius. But that's your read. That's what I have for you. I wish you love and light. Take care.